What's going on, buddy? Say hi to No Traction Jackson, guys. That's right, he's got an Instagram now. No Traction Jackson. And he's a little tired today, aren't you, buddy? Yeah, you look really tired, don't you? All right. We're gonna go install some parts in the truck. High five? That's a good boy. So just a few things in my P.O. box here before we get started. This one's from Mr. Ivan Hoover. Looks like there's a little guitar keychain in here. It says, uh, hey Nick, my State Farm Insurance agent uh, in Nashville, Tennessee offered these keychains to a few of her customers. I saw this and thought of you. Love your channel and have been following for a while. Look at those little State Farm, that's pretty cool. It's a little LED light. Those are convenient to have on your keychain. Sweet, thanks Ivan and Gina, who is the agent for State Farm. Andrew Campbell sent me something here. He's been a fan since day one, watches all my videos. His Vin Wiki name is The Infamous Andrew. Uh, it's available on the App Store. Sent me a ton of business cards. It says they're changing automotive history. So I just looked up the app real quick and it seems like what it is is you can um, put in the VIN number of your car and you can basically create, contribute to, and curate vehicle history reports. So, you know, if your car has three, or three different owners and they all wrote stories and everything and put photos up of the car you can look up the VIN number of the car and it'll show the entire history of it uh kind of like a wikipedia for cars i guess so that's why it's called VIN wiki seems like it's kind of like carmax but uh, it's a little more engaging and like social media based so anyways the last package here we got is from amazon i don't know who sent it to me but I'm about to see what it is aha look at that zip ties that's that's funny so in one of my videos uh, it was a video where I modified my mini bike. Um, I didn't have tiny zip ties. I had these huge zip ties that were like that thick and I didn't have any small ones. So somebody saw that video and got me zip ties. So thank you. Look, I got all different colors and all different sizes. Perfect. So if you guys want to send me anything in my PO box, all of the info will be below in the description. That's right. We're going to be installing some parts in the truck that are in this box. Jackson told me that uh, now that I have a trailer, my truck needs some proper tow mirrors. So that's what those are. Now my 1500 Silverado does not come with tow mirrors. Instead it comes with those, just the standard mirrors right there, as you can see. So when you're towing a trailer as big as mine or even bigger, it can get hard to see around the trailer. And I did struggle with that when I uh, drove it home last weekend. As of you guys have not seen the video, go check it out. It was a nice little April Fool's joke I played on all of you that I'm sure some people are still a little salty over, but oh well, they'll get over it. So the 1500 I have is not fully loaded. It's not the LTZ, it's the 2LT. Now it does have essentially every feature that the uh, LTZ has with the exception of a few, one of which is the turn signals on the rear view mirrors. Now these, these mirrors that I have are powered and heated, but the new tow mirrors that I bought are everything. They're powered, they're heated, they have a turn signal on the front and on the mirror, and they also have the uh, reverse light, the, like the LED reverse light on the mirror. So I may end up running into some issues hooking it up, but from what I read, you can do it. You just need to modify the wiring a little bit on models like the ones that I have if it's not like a fully loaded model. So I'm pulling up to my dad's workshop right now because dad's got way more tools than I do. Okay, got the truck in the garage and here's the new uh, rear view mirrors. And as you can see, this is the tinted part I was telling you about on the front there. And then if we turn it around where the actual mirror is, you can see there's the turn signal lights right there. And then here's the uh, reverse LEDs right there. And uh, they are heated and powered. As you can see, there's the little heated symbol up there in the corner. So like I said, these are a direct replacement. Should pop right in where the other ones are. Here's the wiring harness that comes with it that should also just plug right in. But we may have to modify this a little bit, I don't know, for everything to work on the mirrors. So now we're gonna consult YouTube and figure out how to install these, because I have no idea. Well, I just finished that 18 minute video and uh, we're gonna see if we can do this. See, YouTube is good for everything. Watching install videos and weird guys like me pretend they know anything about cars. So there's a bunch of bolts in this door that you have to remove. We've already done one of them up here, uh, one in here, down through there, and then a couple down here as well as two in the door handle here. And then we remove this, uh, this plastic piece here and now we're gonna do the entire door panel. Look at that, door panel is off. And now we are ready to remove this plastic piece here. And once we do that, it'll expose the three bolts on the other side 
uh, of the mirror. Alrighty, got the black plastic piece off, got the three bolts for the mirror and the harness is unplugged, so we're gonna go ahead and pull the mirror out. All right, now that one's off. So we're gonna go ahead and install the new one. And I've also kept these little plastic pieces here. This is, we're gonna use these to tie back the new wiring harness. It's gonna plug into the factory one right here. All right, there's the new one. Go ahead and push, push it a little bit, a little bit more. All right, that's good. Yep, that's in. Go ahead and feed the wire through the other side there. All righty, we got the mirror bolted in. The harness is ran. We'll click the harness in. Alrighty, so we got the door panel and everything back in, and there is the mirror, all hooked up. Fits perfect, obviously, because it's a direct factory replacement. So now we're gonna do the other side. Alrighty, guys, so we got both tow mirrors installed. I didn't show us putting the second one on because obviously it was the same as the first. Um, now, they look awesome. They are great quality. They're definitely gonna serve the uh, purpose that they're meant for. However, as I assumed in the beginning of this video, not all of the functions work on the mirrors because this truck is not fitted with the correct wiring harness to work with this. Like I said, my truck mirrors, the stock mirrors only were heated and powered. Uh, these are heated, powered. You got the um, this reverse light here and then the turn signal there. And on the front here, this is actually uh, just like a parking light. But um, like I said, in order to get those functions, I think I'm gonna have to buy a wiring harness for the door and change it out, and then we should be good to go. Right now, it doesn't even really, <laughs> I can't get it even to work correctly at all, so I just kind of manually set these, um, the mirrors so um, I can use them for now, and then once I get the wiring harness, I'll hook that up. There's a guy that did a very in-depth video and a lot of trial and error on upgrading these tow mirrors on your Silverados, and um, he actually makes a wiring harness that I'm gonna buy so I'll let you guys know once that gets done in a later video If you guys are interested in these mirrors you want to check them out the Amazon link will be down in the description for you guys I just got them off Amazon. There's a ton of mirrors you can choose from uh, For your truck. So um, like I said the link will be down below there So I'm currently storing the uh, trailer in my parents backyard There's my dad's little trailer he has there only because it doesn't really fit in my driveway uh, well, I mean it fits in the driveway, but um, this is a lot more spacious and I have a lot more room in my driveway for my other cars, so it'll stay here for now until um, I'm ready to use it um, for like different events and stuff and I'll take it back to my house and load it up and everything like that. But for now, I got some tie down straps here that uh, we're going to throw in the trailer so they're ready for the next time I use it with a car. and. Um, these things are pretty awesome. I got these on Amazon as well. I was looking at different kinds of straps. There's like different companies that make really good stuff. Max is a really good company I found that makes really good straps. And one, the cool thing about these are that's a direct hook on the ratchet there. As you can see, there's no ratchet strap and hook. So um, that will allow for a lot easier to use the ratchet so it's not like under your car. You know, if you have like a hook here, the strap, and then the ratchet, the ratchet might actually be under the front end of your car and then you're hitting it and you're trying to like tighten and everything. So I got these, plus it comes with the bag. It's really nice. Um, I'm gonna use some white tape to mark where the tires go here. And uh, that way I can load the trail, I can load the car perfectly every single time. Once I figure out where the car sits the best in the trailer, you know, I'll use this white tape to, to mark it. So we'll leave all this in here. The nice thing about this is I would normally be storing all of this in my garage, but now that I got a trailer, it's like having a second garage. So we'll throw it in here. There we go, now she's ready. So yeah, I'll probably store most of my stuff in here uh, that I take back and forth between events and races and everything like that. So I'll have less clutter in my garage, plus it's here, it's easy, accessible, and I won't forget it because I'm notorious for forgetting stuff. I'm also probably gonna be getting a winch as well as a generator for the trailer. Uh, yeah, I can keep it hooked up to the truck, you know, for power and everything like that, but I don't wanna drain the battery when the truck's not running, so I'd rather just get a generator. You can buy ones that are like really, really quiet and small, so um, once I find that, I'll probably get one of those. Um, other than that, I mean, it, like I said, the trailer is, is essentially finished. I don't really need to do any work to the interior. I just need to buy some things to kind of customize it. And I'll have all my gas cans down here in the uh, cabinets 
anything else that I need to take to the track that if I would need to work on the car or have anything there, I would store in here. The nice thing about it too is when we're at events, a lot of times we're staying over, you know, a night or two and leave the cars out, have all of our stuff and all of our, our tent and everything. The cool thing is I'll be able to put everything in the trailer and store it in here and lock it up. So I won't have to worry about, you know, taking stuff back with me or putting it back in the truck and go back to our hotel room or whatever. So this will be really nice. It'll kind of be like a mini mobile home for, um, for events and stuff. Some people were also talking about doing an airbag system on the back of my truck. And that is something I have already thought about before I even got this trailer. I was thinking about it. Uh, but, the truck rode and sat so nicely with the tr with the trailer empty. Um, I don't really need it until I find a reason to have it. Until I tow my car and really see how the trailer sits and feels, um, I'm not going to do anything like that. If I find that I want to get it, then I probably will. But um, it is something I've been thinking about. A lot of you guys were saying that in my last video. Alrighty, so lock the trailer up. Got all these freaking keys on my keychain now. I got trailer keys, trailer locks. Nice thing is got it's got a deadbolt and it has a handle lock as well. Can you say extremely dirty truck? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's hard to keep this truck clean driving in and out of work, especially when it rains or snows or any sort of weather. Hell, even when it's dry, it's like extremely dusty. But that's what trucks are for. The truck's supposed to be dirty, right? So that's what the mirrors look like on the inside of the truck. Like I said, um, that bottom part's manually adjusting. The top part is powered, um, but it's not hooked up yet. So once I get the wiring harness, that'll be good to go. The only way these mirrors will work as they're supposed to is if you have the um, highest trim level on the standard mirrors, which are like the mirrors with the turn signal on them. And um, those will then, I think then they will work with your regular stock harness. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. I'll have the links for the mirrors and the tie downs below in the description if you guys are interested in that. As always, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Have a great day.